Hello, everybody. Okay. I'm going to mute that so that's not dinging for you. I, <laughs> I don't have a script here, but I need to do this. My glasses are foggy, so I'm going to take them off so I'm blurry <laughs> to myself. Um, a few things. I... I have not been sharing with everybody <laughs> in the world <laughs> um, this incredible opportunity that I have to give to you. Um, and some of you have experienced this by the incredible products that I sell. <laughs> this beautiful catalog. <laughs> that um, has like hundreds of different products that has made cooking for me so much easier for my family. That air fryer like taught my husband how to cook and now he cooks like gourmet food. It's incredible. And some of you have benefited from the incredible host rewards, getting those products for free or like crazy, crazy, crazy deals. Um, I have hosted uh, with many companies in the past and have experienced some great rewards, but there is no host rewards program like Pampered Chefs. I can like stamp that in ink. <laughs> but all those things, that, that's all a given. You know, you see me share about my products, you hear me talk about my host rewards, but for some reason, I don't know. I don't know. I've I've been all over the place lately. Probably for the past several months or more, like most of the year. <laughs> I have not shared with you what this business has done for me and my family. And tonight at 9:54 <laughs> Central Time when I should be cleaning all of the dishes that are in my kitchen. I'm just going to share and know that there's somebody who's up late at night or sees this at another time that needs to hear this. <sighs> for those of you who don't know, I am a high school teacher by trade. I studied for five years at Brock University and had an incredible um, journey becoming a teacher at school. I loved the community that I had at Brock. Many of you I got to meet in that season of my life. Um, and I was really, really excited to start my teaching career. This was a dream I had pretty much for most of my life. I had a few other aspirations thrown in there, but teaching was always something that I was passionate about and interested in pursuing. Um, and while I was at Brock, I met a lady named Catherine and she was a Pampered Chef consultant and I didn't even really know what Pampered Chef was. We didn't grow up with any Pampered Chef products in our house. Um, and Catherine was like, have you ever thought of joining me? And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like I have no business experience. I didn't even take a grade nine business class. Um, and I'm studying to be a teacher. I don't want to do direct sales. I had seen how direct sales could be really, really powerful because I had seen the impact that direct sales has had on my mom. Um, but I had also seen how negativity and people's um, perceptions of direct sales, how it also had weighed on my mom uh, growing up. I, ever since I was three, my mom was a consultant with... Um, a direct selling company. And so anyways, I was like, yeah, right now. <laughs> thanks for the coffee. She took me out to Starbucks. Thanks for the coffee, but no thanks. And so anyways, I stayed in touch with Catherine over the years. I started my teaching career. Um, she actually, she helped me with my bridal shower and we got a whole bunch of pampered chef tools for our home because, um, at the home that I lived at during university, they had lots of pampered chef and I knew that I wanted those tools in my kitchen because they were awesome. Especially that large bar pan. I used that all the time when I would cook food at, in university. 
And so anyways, I had all these Pampered Chef tools and my sister-in-law, Danielle, if you're watching, did you realize that it's because of you? <laughs> So we were at my we were at my house and we we came home from church and that morning we had made bacon on our medium bar pan. And so the like bacon grease was drying because we had to like run out the door to church. We were probably both on music or something. We were running out the door. It was before we had kids. <laughs> and we like so Danielle came over for lunch and she was turning on the 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 stove to make soup and she accidentally turned the wrong burner on <laughs> and my medium bar pan our medium bar pan that we loved to make bacon on cracked and I was like oh no like it was so beautifully seasoned don't worry Danielle I still love you <laughs> actually yeah thank you <laughs> because I called up Catherine my pamper chef consultant was like hey like my medium bar pan cracked. We accidentally turned the wrong burner on. So it wasn't like a manufacturing issue. It was, I broke it. We broke it by accident. And she was like, oh, like, is it time yet? I'm like, what do you mean? I'm just asking to buy a new bar pan. <laughs> She's like, is it time for you to join? And I thought about it for a second. And I was like, you know what? I actually just lost my job. <laughs> So I was teaching at a school for two years. My teaching career started at Mount Salem Christian School. And the high school campus that I was teaching at was closing. So this was in June. And it was my last few weeks teaching. And so she said, yeah, like, what do you think? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like, But I actually could maybe like make some money over the summer before I start supply teaching for Thames Valley, the school board that I was hired with as a supply teacher in the fall. And so I talked to Derek. He was super skeptical, <laughs> super skeptical about it. It was kind of like, why would you do that? But the biggest kit was $195. And it had a whole bunch of stuff that I either already had <laughs> and loved or some items that I didn't have yet and I wanted. And so he somehow, I don't know if I just like did it I think he agreed. I think he must have agreed because I wouldn't have spent $195 and gotten away with it <laughs> at that time. That was really what things looked like. So anyways, we I tried it out. We had a launch party. Several of you came to that launch party at my house. We made chicken. Oh my goodness. Buff. No. Mm, ah, chipotle chicken. Cheesy chicken dip or something on the large bar pan. <laughs> And, um, I'm pretty sure the night before my launch party, I broke one of my large bar pans <laughs> because I cooked like two chicken breasts on it and you're supposed to cover the stone, but I either didn't know that or just was nervous about my launch party the next day. I, I actually, I don't think I've ever shared that. I kind of forgot about that, but I got another large bar pan in my kit and so I was like, okay, like I can still make this tomorrow <laughs> with all these people here. Um, and it was crazy. Like so many of you came and supported me. I still remember Tina Redekop coming and not only did she order, but she's like, I'll host with you. And she was one of my very first hosts. My mom sat down and she's like, I'm going to be your first host. I know how important this is to help your business grow because again, she had like 20 years of experience at that time. And so anyways, we did it. We did, had this awesome, successful launch party. And I was like, hey, like, this is kind of fun. So I ended up going to Chicago a couple months, a couple weeks later um, to the national conference because my mom always came back from seminar with Mary Kay. She always came back from seminar in Toronto and she was like on fire for her business. She was pumped up. She was like inspired and motivated and they got like free product. So I asked Catherine if there was anything like that with Pampered Chef. She's like, yeah, we're going to Chicago this year. It's our 20th anniversary. So I went, I actually earned my ticket. I was so motivated by a goal. I was like, I'm going to earn it for free. And it was, it was, I go to Chicago and I see Doris Christopher 
sharing her story, like the founder of Pampered Chef and our CEO at the time, Tracy Britt Cool, this like powerhouse woman who is like so inspirational. I see Andrea Sale, this woman who was just promoting to executive director and she had a red dress on and James, her husband was there. And it was just like, I just, I remember this all. And I was just like, I could do this. Like, this is so fun. Like, these people are so welcoming. I met some of my team members, like, from Catherine's team, and they were just, like, so kind to me. And I I, I drank the juice, guys. <laughs> I got so excited. And, you know, I could say, and the rest is history, but really the rest is, like, this up and down and winding around journey of the past five and almost a half years of business and learning how to be a businesswoman and learning how to be an entrepreneur, learning how to lead a team, learning how to encourage people, learning how to sell things <laughs> like I don't know how to sell things. And it's been a journey, but like what this business is right now in this season like this business is a part of our family's like household income like that's crazy like this thing that I signed up for $195 is now like paying the grocery bill and the gas bill <laughs> and our mortgage like like I just sometimes I just don't even wrap my head around it how what this has has become and what this means for our family and I see my husband like literally bringing catalogs to his work tonight he brought a little a little bag of goodies to one of his colleagues because he talks about it all the time and I mean I think that was after I brought him to Hawaii and then Jamaica he drank the juice <laughs> um but it has been such such a gift to our family and I have a lot to learn and a lot to grow. I am not perfect at this. There are every day, even tonight, I was reminded of something. I'm like, ah, shoot, I didn't do that. <laughs> shoot, that person asked me to do this and I didn't do it. And I'm just, I'm sharing this with you to say like, could this be something that you need right now? Could this be something that, you know, I mean, I'm wearing my, my Dream Builders shirt that my friend Holly made for us at conference this year. And we just had our Monday night gathering. Every Monday night we get together as a team. And my friend Brittany led us tonight. And she just, somebody I went to school with that I now get to work with. And we get to run our businesses together. We just had so much fun. Like my face, every Monday night, my face literally hurts from smiling because these are the people who have gotten me through the pandemic. These are the people who have gotten me through moving 2,000 kilometers from my home. Um, these are my family. I love them so much. And it's crazy for me to see, like, one of my friends from home, she used to, I, we used to live on the same road, but our husbands are firefighters, or we're, we're fighter fighters, firefighters together. And I've just seen this woman grow like she is such a student of the business and she just shared so vulnerably with us tonight about something she just tried in her business and I love watching her grow. Kim, that's you <laughs> if you're listening. Like, I just, I love getting to see these people, these people that I get to walk alongside. I love seeing them grow. I love seeing them discover new things and, uh, <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Honestly, I love I love getting to do this 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 life with these these people. I love getting to walk alongside them and and I love getting to walk alongside you. Like there are so many of you when I think about five and a half years of business, the amount of people who have invested in me, like big, like big investments, like big risks on a girl who is not, does not have her master's in business. She doesn't have, like I said, grade nine business. Like 
I am just so thankful um, for each one of you that has not only believed in me, but has, you know, come alongside and, and taken a chance on, on me or on any of our team members that you've invested in, in us. Like it truly, when you buy <laughs> a bar pan, that stone bar pan, when you purchase that with us, like literally like that is putting food on our family's tables. Like that is, that is, that is supporting us. And so I just wanted to say thank you. And I wanted to let you know that you don't have to pay $195 this month to join us. We actually have an anniversary kit because Doris Christopher, our founder, started Pampered Chef in her basement 41 years ago. And she brought a pizza stone to her very first show and cooked a frozen pizza on it and wowed everyone. If you check out my stories, I just shared the video. And so this month we have a kit. It's $41 in the U.S. because it's our 41st anniversary, but translated to Canadian dollars is $59. You get a rectangle stone. So that rectangle stone, it doesn't have the sides like the large bar pan, the flat one. You get the pizza cutter, best pizza cutter in the world. <laughs> you get a pizza crust mix and you get a tomato knife. $59. And as my friend Brittany said, you also get a business. <laughs> you, you have that option to try it out, see where things go. Maybe you'll come to conference in Chicago <laughs> in July with us. Maybe you'll become the next national executive director in Bamford Chef. Maybe you'll start paying your family's car payments. Maybe you'll pay for all of your holiday shopping with this business. My absolute favorite thing to do in this business is support my, my team members, support the consultants and leaders that have joined us, and help them have a strong business. Share all the things I've learned in these past five and a half years, all the things that I did right and did wrong. <laughs> I did this, don't do that. <laughs> um, but just coming alongside you to support you and whatever that looks like. Whether it's, you know, a couple extra hundred bucks in the month or a new career. Anyways, I have blathered on for probably a lot longer than you signed up for <laughs> when you clicked on this live video. But I just wanted to share my heart with you and just let you know that this is here it's available it's on the table we would love to have you join us um whether you are watching this and you know me personally and you'd love to join with me or anyone else that you know that is a pamper chef consultant um this is an incredible time to join us and join the family so have an amazing night. I'm going to read what Britt said. I covered Christmas my first month into the business. It made me cry as a stay-at-home mom who hadn't brought home any bacon for two years. Like, these are real stories. <laughs> We're not making them up. <laughs> I bought my kitchen table, which I still, like, that is powerful, right? When you sit down at a table, when you see that you have paid for Christmas and you're like, what? <laughs> like, this just for like sharing about kitchen tools that I like. <laughs> this is real. So that's my story for tonight. You'll probably hear me every other day this week. <laughs> Maybe forever. I don't know. <laughs> but have a great night, guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.